Kiyoshi Kurosawa to me has always stand out for his unique takes on horror and action and it was a pleasant surprise to see him meddling around in drama and creating such a masterpiece. Tokyo Sonata, as suggested by the name, plays out like a music piece, replacing the traditional act structure with something more flavorful. With Tokyo Sonata, Kurosawa told us a story using colors. The world of Tokyo Sonata is not very saturated. Kurosawa features a lot of concrete, black and white of office attire, very flat colors providing a unique perspective of Tokyo under the recession or what is implied of the event. The exterior provides sufficient cues for viewers to understand the world surrounding Sasaki, an ordinary office worker in his 40s. After the sudden firing that happens right at the beginning, we see him blending in with others in the same boat and with Tokyo itself. Just another part of society, another cog in the machine, but all of those are left behind once we step foot inside the Ryohei resident. The warm wooden interior, the light over the kitchen table, the red outfit of the mother, all in contrast with the neutral lighting and the grey bleeding in from the window. Red also plays an interesting role in this adventure. Throughout the movie, the mother is always seen in a red outfit with no exception. In Japanese culture, the red represents peace and prosperity of the family. And in Tokyo Sonata, viewers frequently get to see this nature. If there are any visual cues to connect Sasaki and his wife, it has to be their outfits matching in red, ties with dresses. It simply could be a coincidence until we get introduced to Kurosu and his family, the charismatic, confident, unemployed ex-classmate of Sasaki. There is inherently not a striking visual distinction between these two pseudo-employees except their ties. Kurosu and his wife match one another in pink, but it could have been any other colors for that matter. The fact that they also match is to remind both Sasaki and the viewer about the house of cards that are his lies. Red can also be found at the piano teacher's house, or more specifically, when we learn about her divorce settlement through a phone call. The red scarf was immediately removed, hung on a stand, as if to signify the owner's decision to give up trying to find happiness in her marriage. This is then supported by this line later in the scene. <laughs> The final part of this music composition, or the recapitulation, the connection between all members are further emphasized now with Kenji in his bright red shirt, Sasaki in his orange red tracksuit, Takashi also not as clear with red ink on his letter, and of course the mother's outfit. Different struggles, different goals and ambitions, yet at the end, or in this movie, the beginning of the day, home is the safest place amidst all the chaos. The ingenious lighting technique of Kurosawa adds more flavor to the piece. The major location featured in this story is home. For most, home is a safe haven, a place of comfort, a roof you can have meals and sleep under, yet for Sasaki, it becomes a theater. The dinner table still provide warmth, but in this theater, it is simply an offstage where you prepare for your act. His bedroom, the backstage, where he can be left alone, undisturbed by doubts, questions, and pressure. And the living room, where the play happens. Sasaki can avoid reality as much as he wants, but in the light of the stage, he needs to confront not only his family, but also himself. Multiple times throughout the movie do we get to see Sasaki and his belief, one that was forged by society. These ideas are constantly challenged, mainly under the spotlight, coming into true forms of questioning, revelation, or simply tense situations. Takashi 
何をやればいいんだよ親父さ俺らのこと守るって言ってるけどさ毎日何やってんだよ The neutral lighting does not necessarily represent evil or a bad thing, but it's the contrast against the warm lighting right next to the living room that creates a very unsettling scene. <laughs> Sasaki is not alone in this play as we see other members taking turns sitting under the light as well. Looking back, no one is ever actually alone in their struggles. <laughs> Sasaki getting fired. Sasaki finding a job, the piano teacher receiving bad news, mother in her crisis, Kenji getting caught, Takashi leaving his family, and many more. Characters make mistakes, but Kurosawa didn't let them suffer in silence as they did as a family before. Perhaps he simply wanted to highlight a certain family amongst the thousands and thousands of households living in Tokyo. Or to go back on the punishments, so the takeaway from Tokyo Sonata for viewers are not the pains and suffering of the characters. There is one subtle cue that always precedes any major conflict in Tokyo Sonata, and that is the passing train. In some cases, the passing train indicates that someone is or will be untruthful. At other times, it signifies imminent threat to the family's peace, and in this case, I'll let you be the judge. え、1990年にですね、え、石炭の依存率はさ、65%を下がりましたけど、石油はですね、24%と高くなったわけですね。ま、もちろん自動車の普及などがね、やっぱり石油をですね、求めている一面もあるんですが、石油の需要が高まります